Yeah, yay. Dude, the lag, man. The lag's trying to kill me. <laughs> Stop. I woke up your girlfriend. Don't play. Hey, it's the hammer. It's the hammer, brothers. Oh, I should have killed the other one. No, he killed me, man. What a jerk. Cold levels have legs. Have legs or legs? That's the question. Apparently the Hammer Brothers forehead killed me. Is what possible? I haven't died by a Hammer Brother like that in weeks. It's only a matter of time, and eventually it's gonna happen. You mean to tell me that you trust 8-bit hitboxes? You're trusting the wrong things, my friend. It's very possible to go directly through enemies in this game. Just right through it. No stopping. Stopping. Yo, Scotty D, welcome back, man. Six months in a row. Hot damn, dude. The Twitch Prime. Yeah, if you get three stars, you get a five up, and it just wastes time. Exactly. Stop, man. Even after that big movement they gave me, I didn't. I was still, you know, doing pretty good on time. The hit detection in this game can be pretty, pretty bad, but you know where constant, like... I know everywhere where there's really bad hit detection. Uh, one place that's really, really bad is World 3 Level 2, the fish. You can go right through those assholes, man. The fish are so bad. But there's like a little way around it. If you have P-Speed and you don't turn back, you should be alright with the fish. Um, your speed, like, ensures that c collision will actually happen, which seems reverse to me, but I don't know, it's just how it is. Uh, you can go directly through the World 4 boss, which is the worst punishment in the entire game. There's nowhere to get Fire Flower back until 5-7. You have to do a whole bunch of crap. It's like a 15 second time loss. Um, what else is pretty bad? Certain ceiling bonks are pretty bad in certain places, like 8-1's really bad. There are things you actually learn pretty quickly in the game. People are always intimidated by the RNG in Mario 3, but the RNG never applies to you until you get this good at the game, until you, your times are this, like, low. It takes a long time to be consistent enough at the game where RNG even has a factor, right? It's, it's really fun. I got two, two words of wisdom if you speedrun this game. Don't worry about 1-2 and uh, play, play to have fun at first. All right, all right, word. Go get the polka stop. Grab, grab some food while you're out. How do you speedrun this game on the original NES? I don't know. Put the game in, press the power button, go to go to ham, man. Go crazy. Alright, go ham. 50507. I don't like Super Mario 64 as a speed game because of the intro. The game itself, I, I love everything about it, especially with speedrunning. But right? If Mario 64 is my favorite game, why wouldn't I speedrun it, right? Because I don't think. Um, I don't like the intro. I don't have the time. I don't want to dedicate the time. It's, it's so... <laughs> a lot of time in that intro, right? If you like... If you reset a thousand times in that game, and it's one minute per reset...
Right? Mario's Mario's reset time is like two seconds. Two seconds, I'm back in. I feel like people should be allowed to speedrun Mario 64 with the, if if the intro was not in the game, that intro was not there anymore, I'd speedrun it. If we were allowed if we evolved that as a speedrunning community and started doing more logical, time-efficient things, I would probably be speedrunning a lot more other games, but there's a lot of things holding me back. If we had the option to take out the intro of Super Mario 64 and just, as soon as you hit the, st the, the file, you pop out of the pipe, then I think everything would be so much better. And if you didn't have a mod that would allow you to do that, you were allowed to minus your time. You were allowed to minus the one minute off your finished time. Or no, sorry, never mind. You would add the one minute time at the end. That's right, that's right. For people who remove it from the game would add the minute to the time. So I thought about it backwards. Of course, the run where I get all movements of one, I get bad sun RNG and lose my uh, fire flower. Of course. Yeah, first cycle Majora's Mask too, sure. The three minute cutscene in Ocarina of Time. Just get rid of all that stuff, man. The game could reach its potential much faster that way. You just add the time in on the final time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it would be any form of like cheating or anything. Yeah, with how precise I like to do, like, like how I like to play my games and how I speedrun my games. I would lose, like, half of my life just from... Just from one-minute intros in Mario 64. It's too long, man. Mario Sunshine's... How long is Mario Sunshine's intro? Right, Majora's Mask's intro and stuff. Stuff like that really make or break speed games for me. If I spend more than, like, 30% of my... If if I spend more than 30% of my stream with the beginning intro of the game during my speedruns, I don't think it's a very... I don't know. I think it's a very good, you know... I have done speedruns of Mega Man games, yep. Lots of them. I love Mega Man. Mega Man! Ever speed on Super Mario World? Not really, no. Yep. Now he's stuck in there. I want to see how much time this is going to cost me. Because I haven't made a single mistake in this world yet. God dang it, man. That sucks. I want to see what kind of damage we're looking at. Please use- I don't have a frog suit or else I would. If I had a frog suit, I would legitimately use it in the, the fortress.
Yo, Sheriff! Welcome back for six months. Big box bork. That's right, the big box borks. Once upon a time, I had a speedrun. A speedrun that was good for all. Uh, no, he's not. The only mistake I made was a point, point four turn back. Not even probably. Dude, I can't, I can't even believe that. How's the H, HBRNG this evening? Well, I haven't made a single mistake in this world, so I can't wait to save all that time in world three. Oh, yeah, that's right, Elmer. That's right. A little bit there. You got a card! No thanks, Lion Tamer. I don't have a cloud. Look at that. Look at that time loss. Strictly from Runaway, bro. I barely made any mistakes in that world. If I... The mistakes that I made, if I didn't make those mistakes, it'd probably be like 6.4. Yo, thanks, Fusion. Liking my stutter steps? I'm trying to become a professional stutter stepper. Is there a frog suit strat for some water stages? There is, yes, but can't get a frog suit. If we got all mushroom houses, then yeah, we would be using a lot more, but you can't get all the mushroom houses. What a surprise! The trend. What was I? Do you guys remember what I was talking about an hour ago? What happens every time I have a bad world one, two, and three? What happens, guys? Can anyone tell me? Is there anyone in chat who was there for the lesson? 
Can anyone tell me what happens? Every time I get a bad world one, two, and three, you get a great world four. Yeah. Right? Every time I get a good, good world one, two, and three, worst world four I possibly get. I had a good two, but I mean, the only reason I had a good two was just a couple of Hammer Brother movements, but I still lost my, my, my Fire Flower, so. I don't really consider it much of a good one, but yeah, you know, World 2 was okay. Never wonder anything in this game. It's always gambles. Every every decision in this game is a gamble. Right? You could have done five three and be like, obviously it's faster. I'm right beside it. Nope. The Hammer Brothers move move away. Of course. Right? You see, in this game, you just gotta do what you do, man. So what I did ended up being better because it was only one extra map movement. This game, man. The way the Hammer Brother was moving, I was like, yeah, I probably should have done three first. Nope, it ended up being faster than I did. <laughs> Fucking gamble. Possible to count cards in these gambles. I learned how to count cards for two gambles in this game. And that's the early hammer and no hands. But only in very particular situations. I'll have ten after five. I want a movement of three because I'm safe, but, like, I don't, you know? Oh, baby. I got 7-7 seven, seven rejected there. I could have clipped through that, right? And that really would have... Wait, I probably would have bounced off the turtle. I don't know what would have happened. Interesting. Uh, definitely not Jesus clip on this run. For some reason, I was an idiot, and I didn't realize that taking the bottom path in the bottom section of this world is a lot more movements than if you just do the Fortress 3 and try and wrap around the top. I don't know why I didn't think about that. For a couple days there, I was like, oh, level 3 is so perfect at first every time. I mean, you could do level 3, like Hammer Brother level 3 down Fortress back up. Like, that's fine. That's... you know? You gotta hope for that hammer, brother. Like I said, I mean, everything's a gamble in this game. I was about to yell at them. You guys could hear it under my voice. I was like, I was about to yell at them. Back that ass up. So whenever I press A and B to grab that shiny block, and you see me miss it like four times in a row, 
Um, most of those times I'm not actually missing it, but what will happen is that the fireball will actually override the first B input. So if I do it correctly with Fire Flower, I'll actually shoot a fireball instead of grabbing it. It'll, it will only do one or the other. If I want to shoot a fireball and grab it, I'm going to have to tap B twice. Pretty weird, huh? Which is why you see me fail it like a hundred times there with Fire Flower, but whenever I do 6-8, like I normally nail it pretty often. It's pretty easy, it's not... I feel like it's more easy to jump grab blocks in this game than it is in Super Mario World. Yo, thank you for the good lucks. It looked like I was gonna get a flower there. Come on, move a one. Wow. I'm getting very bad Hammer Brother movements. No move of one yet. If I get P speed in this next level early, then it could be a write off. Oh, nice. Yo, my holiday was good, man. Took a nice three solid days off. It was awesome. How's yours? Horrible. At least it was a move of two. So I only lost point five there. Fuck off, man. You really, you gotta just right at the end there. Ah, Mitch. Just to laugh at me. No marathon, a couple movements of four, not a single movement of one. That is sad times. Yo, Sun West, what's going on, man? I did have some good holidays. I hope you did as well. Come here, you little frig. <laughs> Why did he die forward? <laughs> I like pooped him. He's like, nah. 43 high 43, can't complain. Insta P speed. That's good right away. Getting bellied enemies. Belly right on his forehead. Mario's big belly, man. Imagine somebody bellied you right in the forehead. You just like, yeah. Big slapping noise. It was like a belly flop. Look at my time with that plus seven in World 3. Get out of here. Why do you keep going in the- It's that time again, obviously. Obviously it's that time again.